potential pointers to graft failure after CABG are the following. 1. Electrocardiographic signs of myocardial ischemia. 2. Ventricular arrhythmias. 3. Significant elevation of biomarkers. 4. New wall motion abnormalities noted on echocardiography. 5. Hemodynamic instability. Though conventionally, invasive coronary angiography is used for assessment of graft failure, graft angiography is technically more challenging and complication rates are three times higher, though the absolute risk is not very high. Computed tomographic coronary angiography, seat angiography, has improved a lot and is now useful in evaluating bypass grafts. Multi-slice CT angiography can achieve a sensitivity of 98% for detection of graft stenosis or occlusion with a specificity of 97%. It may be difficult to assess patency of distal anastomosis into heavily calcified native vessels. Surgical clips and other artifacts may also cause limitations in CT angiogram interpretations.